Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a money system in your Minecraft world. So you're going to be needing cheats and you'll have to be in creative mode with operator commands. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to just go into the normal chat and we're going to type slash scoreboard objectives add money dummy. So there we go. Once you do that command, we're going to want to do slash. You can just pause the screen for all these commands. Slash scoreboard players add at a money zero. There we go. And then we have one more command. Slash school scoreboard objectives set display sidebar money and well bam now you can if you look over on the right side you will see where it says money and it says my gamer tag with how much money I have now we need to come up with a system to add money to your thing okay so we're back sorry about that um, and the next thing we're going to want to do is create a system to actually give you the money. So in my case, we're going to use emeralds as our money. You guys can use any anything, and I'll show you guys how to set that up. So we're probably just going to want some sort of blocks, a button, or a button. Here, wait, I'll show you the two things. So actually, no, not a button. I like to use a pressure plate because I'll show you why. And we're going to do slash give at s command underscore block well, bam we now have a command block so what we're gonna want to do is break out a little two by three section place a command block just like that and just like that so I want to make sure both of the arrows are pointing the same direction and we want this one to be pointing into this one so we want this first command block to be repeat uh unconditional and needs redstone so there you go um uh zero ticks whatever and then we want this command block to be chain you have to do this it's conditional and always active if it's not conditional then you will get money even if you have no emeralds so in this command block we're gonna have to do slash clear at p M emerald zero one so if we test this by getting this we step on it nothing happens but if we have 64 emeralds there I move on my emeralds and another thing we're gonna want to do real quick is slash game roll command block output false so we're doing this so um it doesn't spam our chat inside then so we actually get money we're going to want to put into this command slash score board players add at p p is the closest player so you're going to want to make sure it's like that um money one oops one so let's test this out we step on it we get no money let's get uh let's get 10 emeralds we get ten dollars we get a stack we should now be up to 74 and bam that works perfect so then we can nice and easy cage this up and yeah, so that's how you do that. And then if you want to get rid of your money or someone else's money, you would do slash score board of players. You can add, you can set, you can um, basically anything. You can remove money. So I'm just going to set at S, so me, money, zero. Bam, now my money over there is at zero. So... The next thing I'm going to teach you guys how to do is to make a very simple little shop using this money system. So we'll just uh, build a little whole thingy just like this. And for this we actually do need buttons. We're going to take um, 
button up there. We're gonna put uh, I need glowstone and on a glow item frame and whatever we want them to buy. So we'll be doing a diamond sword. So we'll put whoops, that's the wrong side. We'll put one piece of glowstone, glow thingy, diamond sword, and a sign that's gonna say one diamond sword one hundred dollars so you can really change this to anything and i'll show you how to do that in a minute well of course this you obviously know what to do i'll show you how to command change the command box but the first thing we want to do one two three all facing into each other and we want the first one to be impulse needs wait uh unconditional needs redstone so that's already correct and we want this one to be chain conditional always active and the same thing for this one chain conditional whoops always active boom so in this first one we basically want to test to make sure they have the right amount of money so it doesn't bring them so it doesn't bring their money down into the neg negative so it's going to be slash score board players oops whoa test at p money so it's got a range from whatever you want your the lowest price to be to buy this option so whatever you'd say your price is 100 for me um to really any numbers to so ton of nines i would say don't do too many or it might break it i think but don't do too little so i i'd say probably around six i would do more than five because if they because right now if they get more than um almost about a mil if they get more than a, if they get to a million dollars they won't be able to buy this because they'll have too much money so i doubt anyone will get to a million and if they do just up these commands i guess so yeah you want that many nines i guess however many you really want um then in this one you're gonna want to do slash Score board players remove at P money. Whoops, whatever your price is, so 100. And then for the final command, slash give S diamond underscore sword. So it's really gonna give them whatever you want it to give them. So let's, um, first test to see what happens when i click this button nothing okay but if we get 64 emeralds does just anything happen by any chance don't know why it ever would but no so if we go over to here with our 64 emeralds we now have 64 dollars let's go see if it works now no because we don't have enough money so let's get up to 100 so six and then 30 so 36 more emeralds should do the trick do, do, do. Okay, there we go. Now let's go step on this, and we should have a hundred bucks once we're done draining all of them. And remember, now let's go press this button. And I feel like this is probably the command that's messed up. No tart. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. This should be at P. Don't make that mistake like me. So I'm just gonna give myself a slash score board players. Add uh, s money 100. There we go. Now I've got 100 dollars again. It would be the same thing as doing that. I just didn't want to get all the emeralds out. And I'll press this, and boom, I get the diamond sword, and my money goes away. Say I have 99. Doesn't do anything. But one other test. Let's see. What if I have 102? Oh, now I'm at 201. Whoops. Um, <laughs> that's okay. I press it once. I get the sword. I press it again. I get the sword, and I'm left with one dollar. I press it again. No sword. So this is a shop. It's very easy to replicate. If you're on PC or you have something set up for pick block, I would do Control 
um, click the little button in the center of your mouse, your scroll wheel, click that down, then you get that one, you get that one, and you get that one, and you can reset up these shops all over, just changing how much money it costs, what the money has to range from, and all that, so yeah, this is exactly what you guys want to do, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments, it should work fine, and please guys, go hit the subscribe button, and like this video, because it would help me out a ton, and I will see you guys in the next video.